everyone's got an intercept score. Everyone starts with the same intercept score, though. Execute. All right, so I'm going to calculate. I'm going to build. This is basically what my model building is all about. So selection. Now I've run that, and uh, it's calculated for me the uh, predicted logit scores. Okay, so these are not predicted probabilities. It's a one-step uh, method. It's the first step that you go to to actually calculate them, but they're very similar to uh, predicted probability scores. And uh, to gain some insight into that, let me actually sort cases. I'm going to sort the predicted logit cases from lowest to highest, and predicted logit scores or logit scores can or can go from negative infinity to positive infinity and we can see that i've just sorted them now from lowest to highest and people are as low as negative 21 and then we got some positive over here too and um the higher score you get here the more likely you are to default on your mortgage but it's not an odds ratio uh but what i will show is something um fairly close actually let me uh compute a uh an ID variable. Um, okay, I could have done that in syntax just as easily. Um, okay, so I've got one, one all the way to 184, which is the sample size, and I'm going to show the scatter plot of these variables. So I'm going to scatter. Use ID. This is taking a bit longer than I thought it would, but. Let's hope it has some insight. Yeah, so we've got ID, and we're, we're seeing that um, S-shaped curve that you see in logistic regression. It's not a perfect S-shaped curve, but it's um, definitely that sigmoid uh, curve that you see in logistic regression. Uh, Anyway, I just thought I'd show that to you, that that's what plotting it across from size gives you an S-shaped curve, uh, which is what you get in logistic regression. Um, now, I want to transform. I'm going to get rid Now, I'll keep the ID variable. Now, I want to transform the predicted logit scores into odds ratios. And to do that, you actually need a magical number of sorts. And it's called Euler's number or Euler's E. And that Euler's number... Um, or Euler's E is equal to 2.718281828. Uh, it goes on for a lot of decimal places, but uh, I'm just going to keep it uh, to that level. That should be accurate enough. So compute uh, predicted probabilities equal. And so what I need is my first, I need the uh, logit score to be multiplied by, I need, I mean rather, expo I need to exponentiate the um, Euler's E value by the uh, predicted logit. Okay, and then I do the same thing, 1 plus 2.8. 2.7, and then exponentiate by predicted logit. All right, so it's relatively simple. Oops, I forgot my divisor. So we're multiplying Euler's E. Uh, well, I'm not multiplying. We're getting the uh, exponentiated value of Euler's E, where uh, exponentiated by the predicted logit scores, and then 1 plus the same Euler's E with the same exponentiated value, but is actually divided. And that's the odds ratio component to logistic regression. So let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. It should. All right, run selection. And I'll add the... Um, Euler's formula formula to okay so what do we get here okay that does look about right now these are a lot of zeros the predicted probabilities are are zeros to you know a decimal place uh, now I'm gonna go 
further into the data to find some some larger numbers to see how